Hey, double salute, Black Goose TV family. What's good with it? You already know what type of time it is. You already know the vibes I'm on. You already know the energy I'm bringing. Nothing but positivity, nothing but blessings, nothing but good things that I'm hoping and praying and wishing is going y'all way. Because it's nothing but love when it comes to the Black Goose TV family. You know what I'm saying? Y'all come up in this community. Y'all come up and join this channel. I'm telling you, man, you ain't never had no type of family like this, especially on the YouTube side of the game, especially on the YouTube boxing channel side of the game. So make sure if y'all come up in here, man, hit that like button, show some love, subscribe to the channel, notification game. And most importantly, I'm going to beat it over the head until the white meat is showing. RP and salute to Burning Mac. Comment. I need to hear your opinion, man. I need to hear your opinion. I don't care if you got the most greasiest shit to say ever. I don't care what it is. You ain't finna hurt my feelings, man. Drop it in the comments below and show some love. So now, with all that being out of the way, man, we're going to get into this little bit of boxing news. We talking BJS. And a lot of y'all probably don't know this because y'all, if, especially if you OG, you know what I'm saying, family members of the channel. Um, y'all know I'm a very, 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 very big fan of uh, Demetrius Boo on Um But, uh, and you guys also should know I'm a very big fan of Chris Ubank Jr. as well. Uh, but surprisingly enough, I'm a big fan of Billy Joe Saunders as well. I, I'm a very big fan. I was one of those guys who was like, Billy Joe Saunders is going to show you that you can outbox Canelo. I wasn't wrong. I was wrong saying that Billy Joe Saunders was going to be the one to show you. But I wasn't wrong saying that you can outbox Canelo, right? Now, let's get that out of the way. <laughs> uh, I got some good news for any Billy Joe Saunders fans. And I know that's, you know, far and few between because there's not too many uh, Billy Joe Saunders fans. It's really more hated. Anyways, uh, he's coming back, man. He's finally coming back after that lone loss to Canelo. What was it? Sometime last year uh, in 2021. Broken order. Uh, it's going to be over the bone. Um, at one point, I thought maybe he was going to hang the gloves up and he wasn't going to come back. Um, but it seems like Billy Joe Saunders is going to come back, resurrect his boxing career, and hopefully make a little bit of noise at whatever division he decides to stay at. Um, me personally, I think Billy Joe Saunders is a natural 160-er. I think that's where he's the best. I think that keeps him disciplined, keeps him fast and on his toes. I don't think he, can, I don't think he should fight at 168. He's a lot slower, um, a lot heavier on the feet, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I'm interested to see what his, uh, uh, um, what should I say, his return weight class will be. Will it be 160 or 168? Because there's still a lot of fights out there for Billy, like, Depending on who he's with, whether he's at 160 or 168, he still has a Chris Ubank Jr. rematch. Um, that would do probably pretty good numbers. I would love to still see him against Bubu Andrade. I think that would do good numbers. I would still I would love to see Billy Joe crossover maybe to the States, you know, fight guys like uh, maybe like a Jamal Charlo. That would be fire. Um, maybe a, even a Jaime Munguia. That would be fire. I think there's I think the 160 and 168 uh, division is jumping so much that I think a loss, especially if it's a loss to Canelo, it doesn't do much. Like if we look at the Caleb Plant situation, um, I think Caleb Plant is still very, very relevant in the 168 division, uh, and he can get a lot of good fights, and we would be interested in seeing him fight those fights. It's just, you know, he's taking his time. Like, I've noticed a lot of these dudes, who, you know, take these L's to uh, Canelo. They take time off for a good amount of time, which all power to them. They enjoy the money because it's usually their biggest payday ever. Um, and then they come back at some point, and uh, we're still relatively interested because we're, we're, it's, like, it's almost like we're interested to see how good was this guy really. Is he just not that good? Like Canelo picked him at the right time, or when he comes back, you know, he demolishes everyone. Because we're seeing that from Colum Smith. Colum Smith, he moved up to light heavyweight, and, uh, you know, he's wrecking those. I think he's had one or two fights at light heavyweight. He's looked amazing. So, um, and I've always known Colum Smith was a good guy. And I think we'll see the same thing from Billy. Billy's a really good fighter. Uh, but let's go ahead and see if we get any uh, details on uh, what weight class he'll be returning to. And then let's see if we get any de uh, details on if there's a potential opponent that he could be fighting. So, uh, coming from uh, always boxingnews24.com, love you. You know what I'm saying? Barry Holbrook, he wrote this particular article. And it begins by saying, Billy Joe Saunders is back in the gym after a year out. The ring following his eighth-round stoppage lost to Canelo Alvarez a year ago in May 2021. Yeah, so it was last year. It's a weird time. Be uh, flying and passing so you know fast. It seems like it was it was longer than a year ago. I like I'm uh, I was this close to saying that this joint happened in 2020, but. Saunders, 32, has been training at Dominic Ingles Gym for his comeback fight in December. It's unclear what Saunders' goal is for his December ring return. If Billy Joe wants to look to rematch with Canelo, he will likely need to beat a handful of top five caliber contenders from the 168 or 160 division to make that happen. I don't think he's looking for a rematch against Canelo. I think he just knows there's a lot of good fights out there. Uh, like Caleb Plant, Jamal Charlo, David Benavidez, David Morrell Jr., Edward Belonga, Ganelli Kolovkin, throwing Jaime Munguia in there, um, Demetrius Andrade. There's a lot of guys. Uh, uh, Chris Ubank Jr., uh, a lot of guys. So uh, he came back a couple weeks back just to find his feet, get away from home. Ingo said to the star about Billy John Saunders, he's aiming to find December. And nutritionist Greg Maria is based 
in Sheffield, we have just got to sit down and work out a plan where he goes from there. That's another conversation I need to have when I get back into Sheffield. It might work out. It might not. So we definitely have a, a, a an expected date. In the Canelo fight, he didn't have a fantastic camp, but he, ba- he, excuse me, he gave a very decent performance. I think he could have beaten Canelo. Maybe there's more to the mark with Billy. Let's just see how it goes. So um, we definitely don't have a confirmed date. We definitely don't have a confirmed opponent, and we don't know what weight uh, he's going to be fighting at. Um, I've been hearing speculation of Billy Joe returning this year. Um, I just never actually did a video on it because there was nothing. There was there was nothing concrete. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't put out there in the boxing public. It was kind of just kind of you know, the who's who's. If you follow Billy Joe Saunders, you know what I'm saying you you got your ear out there. You know what I'm saying you're listening. Um, you would expect that Billy Joe to come back this year. Um, this is the first time it's actually been reported, actually been put out there that yo he's going to come back. Um, and expect to be back in December, which is the end of the year. So um, you guys remember, he had a broken orbital, so it's going to take him time to heal from that. Obviously, he had to gain his confidence back and get back in shape. Um, but I I, I, I want to see you back in the ring, Billy. Like, look, bro, I'm getting older. You getting older. We all getting older. I want to see the guys that I really enjoyed in my younger years and that I love. And I said, these are my favorite fighters. Like, I want to see them in the ring. Like, Jarrell Miller, Big Baby Miller, he's fighting tonight. Um, I would have loved to do a fluent lounge for it. But whoever the fuck he's fighting for, Ain't no way I can get a stream for it. So I'm just going to do a reaction video off of it. But I'm like, it doesn't matter what your trials and tribulations was, the losses you took, whatever the case may be. Um, if I was a fan of yours, I want to continue to see you fight until you can't fight no more. Or at least you tell everybody, hey, I'm hanging the gloves up. So uh, salute to you, Billy Joe Son. There's nothing but love on my side. I can't wait to hear if, you know what I'm saying, December is going to be confirmed, who your opponent is and at what weight class, man. I'm going to be sitting back waiting on that joint. How do you guys feel about it? You guys watch that fight? I'm trying to find the front of the goddamn mic. There you go. I'm like, are you guys going to watch that fight? Is that something that interests you? It doesn't interest you? Let me know. As always, man, drop in the comments below. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Show some love. And on the auto switch, niggas, I I'll be back with more boxing. Love y'all. Oh, by the way.